I'm probably the last personal development nerd on the planet who still hasn't read Atomic Habits by James Clear, but through watching everyone else constantly reference and quote it, I think I've picked up the gist of the book just through osmosis. Throughout my life, establishing simple habits has probably been one of the most important improvements I could possibly make. More important, I think, than trying to design the perfect planning system or set really lofty goals. My daily and weekly habits are like my foundation. If those are going well, everything else tends to fall into place. But if my habits are being neglected, you can pretty much bet that other areas of my life aren't doing too hot either. And I think this is an especially important philosophy in COVID times when everything is just too unpredictable to set any sort of clear goals or targets. We can instead set up systems and learn to just fall in love with the process. So in this video, I want to share my current lineup of daily and weekly habits Disclaimer, these do not happen 100% of the time. Like this would be an ideal scenario if I were a perfect person living in a perfect world, but sadly I am just a perfect person living in an imperfect world. I just know that the closer I get to 100%, the better and happier I'll feel, so it's in my best interest to try and achieve all of these. When it comes to tracking habits, I really like this app called Done because it's simple, it's colorful, it has an Apple Watch app, and it also integrates with the Shortcuts app. So I have this shortcut that automatically adds one bottle to my habit count and 500 milliliters of water to my health app so I don't need to go between apps. I've done a whole video on my morning routine, and actually two videos, so I won't bore you with the details because it hasn't changed that much since the most recent video, but I have experimented a bit with doing like a seven minute workout sometimes, sometimes I go on a walk, but the basic structure has remained the same. Waking up early is not something that I track, but it does help me have a better day, so I try to wake up at least by 7. In the morning while I cook breakfast, I drink a bit of water with a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, which is disgusting, but people say it's good for you, and the more you do it, the slightly less disgusting it gets, so that's encouraging. My goal is to finish one bottle of water before breakfast and then drink at least five bottles of water per day. I think this helps my skin, but honestly the condition of my skin is just impossible to predict or understand sometimes. Drinking water has ended my migraines though, so there's that. I try to break a sweat in some way at least once a day. No pressure to do anything in particular. Sometimes I feel like going to kickboxing, other times I wanna run outside or go to a Zumba class or learn K-pop dances. I just wanna fill up my activity rings and if I get that, I'm satisfied. I wanna thank Native for sponsoring this video and making sure that I feel dry and do not smell bad when breaking aforementioned sweat. Keeping with the theme of small and easy changes that have a big impact, if it's an option, I want to be using natural products like like aluminum free deodorant that I know are good for me and that I can feel confident putting on my body. So like looking at the ingredients on the label, there's stuff like coconut oil, which I cook with. So if I put it in my body, I definitely feel comfortable putting it on my body. Shea butter, which I've made DIY lip balm with. Sodium bicarbonate is just baking soda. In the past, I've had not great experiences with natural deodorant where it just felt like grainy and kind of wet, almost more like toothpaste than deodorant. But when I apply this, this feels smooth, just like the regular deodorants that I used to use before. It dries quickly so I can put it on in the morning and get dressed right away and be ready to go. And by go, I mean prepare myself for another day of staying at home. It's vegan and cruelty free and it lasts a long time. I chose three scents that remind me of autumn. So I got pumpkin spice latte, buttercream and French vanilla, and coconut milk and turmeric. These all smell so good. They have a bunch more scents on their website that you can check out. Three deodorants are normally $36, but if you use my link bit.ly slash native bliss bean, and code BLISS, you'll get them for $24. That's 33% off if you don't want to do the math. I have like an on and off relationship with meditation, so sometimes I find it really helpful and then I kind of get into a rut and it feels like a chore, so I pause it. Currently, we are back together though, so sometimes I just use the Breathe app for a couple of minutes, sometimes I pick something from Inside Timer. Just like exercise, I try to keep it casual and whatever I feel like that day. Lately, I've been letting emails and messages pile up and then I get really overwhelmed. Like a few days ago, I sat down and finally opened my inbox. I got through a couple of emails and just literally started crying so that was rough and i'm trying to avoid falling behind like that again if possible so ideally i want to be caught up on stuff every day ideally i've been trying to get outside more as well so going on a little walk when i need a break All right, from working, back meeting up with friends outdoors playing baseball with my brother and failing miserably okay. 
I try to keep my bedtime routine simple, so I brush my teeth. I recently started doing tongue scraping as well, wash my face, update my day one journal, cycle tracker, habit tracker, my budget, lots of little odds and ends to tie up, and then I journal for a little bit, write down three wins and three things I was grateful for that day, and then stretch with music. And then finally, throughout the day, I get notifications for this mood tracking app to rate how well I'm feeling, as well as affirmations. So I guess that kind of counts as a habit as well. And now on to the weekly habits. So I set this goal to spend four hours per week either reading nonfiction or taking some sort of a course, just four hours of learning. I like this because it gives me a target to strive for, but also flexibility to do it whenever I have time for it and feel like it. Flexibility is a big theme for me currently because I'm someone who needs to have a lot of control and so I'm trying to loosen up on that. I like to get my photos and videos organized on Sunday. I accumulate a lot of digital junk so I want to regularly go through, delete footage I don't need anymore, label stuff I might use in the future, and move it all onto my hard drive for long-term storage, and then also clean out all the screenshots and stuff on my phone. On Thursdays, I do a little midweek check-in to see how things are going usually takes like 20 minutes to do and then a longer weekly review on Sunday so reviewing the past week brain dumping figuring out what my priorities are for the upcoming week and looking at what's coming up on my calendar weekly blog tasks are how I try to batch blogging work and keep myself on schedule so I take a look at my content calendar make sure it's all set for the next two weeks I check analytics update my progress on everything and just do any little maintenance things that I need to do and then finally I have a couple of chores that I like to get done on a weekly basis on Sundays like tidying up my room washing makeup brushes sleeping changing my sheets dusting etc. Oh, and I almost forgot this one, but I've been doing like this Sunday pamper routine, which started because I've been trying to repair my damaged hair with Olaplex, and then I realized that you have to keep it in your hair for a little while, and so I was trying to figure out how I could use that time while the stuff was healing my hair. So then it turned into this whole pampering routine, which has been really nice and fun. And that's it. That is what an ideal week of habits would look like for me. Let me know what habits help you to stay happy and healthy and on top of things. Check out Native in the description for some delicious smelling aluminum free deodorants and most importantly, have a good week. And second most importantly, give this video a like and subscribe to my channel.